What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys and today I'm going to be showing y'all how exactly I do a quick detailing on my black car. My car is kind of dirty at the moment and I thought since today we have an overcast, why not go ahead and quickly detail this thing. It's kind of dirty, kind of. I know I have a lot of bugs just because where I live at, but now it's time for me to clean that but first things first i just want to tell you guys if you aren't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe because you won't want to miss any of the content that i'm posting and go ahead and turn that notification bell on so you'll get all the notifications of me posting any video that i post but the car looks so good oh my god i just noticed the emblem i forgot i did not change that yet i actually got my other emblems in let me show that to you and look what i went with the carbon fiber-ish finish. Let me take it out the package for you. I have to say these things do look good and I got one for the front and one for the back. I just never changed it out yet because I wanted to, you know, wash my car, detail it before I put these on because I don't want to have shiny new emblems and the car still looks like how it does now. Uh, I guess it's time for me to go ahead to AutoZone, get all the necessary stuff that I don't have yet and get to washing my car i'm not gonna make you guys sit there and watch me go get it so uh okay so i just got back with all the necessary ingredients as you can see and the first things first i'm gonna just use this to wash the car this is one of my favorite car washers for washing vehicles and uh let me just go ahead and get started with that i have my two buckets out because i'm gonna be using a two bucket wash method which is pretty simple for me but just for you that don't know i'm gonna show you all right quick the two bucket wash method is literally all you do is you put the microfiber wash mitt in the soapy bucket wash your car when you need to and whenever it's time to rinse you rinse it out with this bucket you dip it in there and whenever you go to wring it out make sure you wring it out onto the ground somewhere just so you don't contaminate either one of the buckets as more than you need to the first thing i will actually be doing is getting rid of the bugs which will be i will just spray it on jet to get as much as i could off of it first and then spray the bug and tar remover across the front and across the side mirrors and possibly the windshield but i don't think i'm going to do the windshield just because it's not that bad with bugs but let me go ahead and get started with that. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Okay, so now that majority of the bugs have been rinsed off, I'm going to continue with the two bucket wash method and just wash the car. As you can see, the sky is getting pretty dark, so it may end up raining pretty soon. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to record out here. But whenever I'm finished with this, I will be moving the car into the garage so I can finish up with the detailing. I'm sure most of you probably already know, but in order to wash the car, you're going to uh, want to start off at the top just because there's less dirt and road grime up there and then eventually make your way along the bottom and after that do the wheels and exhaust tips last but let me go ahead and get started with this so y'all can see the finished product after the wash okay so now i finally have my car in the garage it actually stopped raining so it's pretty dry out there i could have done it out there but i didn't want all the debris and stuff flying around to actually settle on the car so i went ahead and put it in the garage but now that it's in here i'm going to go ahead and start with the actual detailing which the first thing will be clay barring where's one second what i'm going to do i have my clay bar right here and i've already used this previously but all you do is tear a small piece off of it and use that for one application and i also have the mother's quick detail or instant detail however you want to say it and uh, a microfiber tile and that's pretty much all you're going to need what I'm gonna do is saturate the area that I'm gonna be working in, which will eventually be the whole car, and then clay bar it for, I don't know, you'll see how many passes, and then dry it off with a microfiber towel, and I'm gonna show you the before and after on each side of the hood. I'm gonna do one side and let you see the other side.
right, so one thing you can notice right off the bat of me doing this is this side has a little haze to it. I'm just gonna have to get a different microfiber tile and go back and buff that out after I'm done. But as you can see, there is probably little difference on the camera, but I can notice a kind of a difference to it. But uh, the most, the majority of the difference is this side still has the impurities in it and you can actually hear it. Oh, what? Well, yeah, that too. And lightly, I can feel like roughness to it. But this side is like smooth and you can't really feel anything inside of the paint, which is actually how I like it. And that will help with the water beating off. And oh yeah, if your clay bar gets like this, you can just knead it a little bit more and eventually you'll have to get another piece of clay bar, but this one still has a lot to go with it. So I'm just gonna continue on with what I was doing. This is actually the second day because it started getting kind of late last night whenever I was trying to hurry up and detail this, but I figured why would I be rushing it whenever I shouldn't be. And uh, actually when you look at the car, it does look fairly nice to say that I'm about halfway done with the detailing process. Um, my next thing to do would be to polish it and that would give it like a very nice shine. And then after that, I'm gonna wax the whole thing. And then I'm gonna move on with the smaller things, which shouldn't take that long after that. But uh, let me go ahead and show y'all what I'm polishing it with. This is actually a very nice car product that I would use to, uh, whenever you don't have an actual buffer machine, you could just put this on a microfiber towel and wipe it on. And when it starts to haze up, you buff it off with another microfiber towel, a dry one. And uh, this has worked pretty good for me in the past. I'm going to show you a uh, half on the hood right now so I can show you like the before and after effect of this. All right, so first things first, you're going to want to shake this up very good. I've already pre-shaken it. And then you're going to want to apply it on a small cloth like this and just give it enough time to haze up like I said. And then you're just going to dry it off with another microfiber towel. pretty much have to find that sweet spot with how long you have to keep it on there. I'm about to go ahead and wipe it off. It's been probably about two minutes, but uh, the longer you let it stay on there, the harder it's gonna be for the buff out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start getting it off of there. I don't know how good you can tell the difference on the camera, but I kind of can see it, a change. Yeah, I just saw it a little bit on the frame. But uh, let me go ahead and finish the rest of the vehicle and then I'll show you the after effect. I'm actually liking how the car is coming out. Um, I do have one last step and that will be to apply this quick spray wax from Mothers. And what I'm gonna do actually, I'm just gonna spray it on there and wipe it off. That's pretty much what it calls for. But man, this thing is looking good. I'm glad that I actually got a car with some pretty decent paint at the moment. I mean, there are some rough spots in the paint, but looking at it from far away, you can't really tell. But uh, let me show you how to do this and then I'll end up going to the last part of my video. If you're liking how the video is going on so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, why don't you? And last but not least, it will be this Back to Black Trim Restorer. Um, basically all you're gonna need is an applicator pad and the product. And what you're gonna do is just put a 
generous amount or however much you think you need. If you need to do one or two coats, then you can just put that much on there and just wipe it down and it should turn back to black. And there's the difference.